Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333 and we have a way forward in Irithyll, because sewers were found, and shortcuts were found. I haven't gone to a bonfire yet. I probably should, but I have some Estus. I have some FB. I can heal my entire health bar like two times, two or three times over. I think we're good. And also, I've killed all the Pontiff Knights. I've, I've killed all the Pontiffs I've found so far. I don't know if I've killed all the Pontiff Knights, but I've killed a large number of them. Huh, okay. Where's my torch? These guys are so annoyingly invisible all the time. I just... Just... No! Don't! No killing! I keep... I forgot before, and I'm trying to take advantage of it now, but you can actually, if you mash... It used to be if you mash the attack buttons, you'd actually break out of grabs. Now, granted, of course, what you want to do when it comes to grabs is not get grabbed. But, in the event you get grabbed, usually if you mash the attack buttons, you will get grabbed less. Ow. Alright. I think that's sorted. What's up here? Well, okay, there's the boss fight. Actually, oh shoot, there's Pontiff Knights up there. There's actually one of the sides up there. Like I said, I've been partially spoiled. Okay, I'm just gonna, oops. Heal up. I don't know if I want to risk it. 52,000 souls is, it's a lot of souls. Well, there's the scythe wielder. Ah, I got the drop on you. Okay, no risks. That worked. That worked beautifully. And the other one... Deal with this one without too many issues. Like so. And get some FP back. Brilliant. Now, I can't remember if there was a third one back here. Nope, looks like no. Alright! And that's the boss fight over there. Which I might attempt this time, this particular run. Or this episode, rather. I mean, normally I do the whole thing where I have a death montage or something at the beginning of the episode for a boss. Because I normally have a hard time with bosses. Well, it's more I had a hard time with Abyss Watcher, and it's sort of... It's colored the whole thing since. Hey, more Ashenestus. I'm actually really liking that. I don't know what's causing me to... Would you... Just die, please? Thank you. Much obliged. Anyway, I've been kind of liking how, I don't know what's causing it, but something is causing me to gain Estus back slowly. Not so fast that I can just rush around and not really worry about anything, but fast enough that I've been able to run around, actually I haven't died at all for an episode and a half so far. Partly because the Estus has been revived, has been regenerating. Or wait, no, I did die last episode. I haven't died, it was an earlier episode, or like, I don't know. For an episode's worth of time, I suppose. I haven't died yet. Try a ranged battle. Well, what's down here? Ow! <laughs> Won't find out that pass. Alright, let's try that again. This is one of the big reasons I did not go to another bonfire. Because I knew I was going to be going, dropping down here because I saw the way the path was working out. That I was going to drop down to this area. Ow. What do we have here? Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. That's probably Boost Miracles because it was something like that in Dark Souls 1. What is it? Greatly Boost Miracles. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn who inherited the Light of Gwyn, the First Lord. Greatly Boost Miracles. The Sun's Firstborn was once a god of war until he was stripped of his stature as punishment for his foolishness. No wonder his very name has slipped from the annals of history. Even though a lot of people theorycraft that it was in fact Solaire who was that particular bastard child. But I don't know. I don't really think it is. Because every time Solaire pops up, it's always mentioned that Solaire's everything was a product of training and no magic or divine spark or anything weird like that. There was nothing about him that was special. 
Except that he worked really hard to be good. And also worked really hard to be skilled. And he did both. He was both virtuous and skilled. And everyone loves him for it. Do I have repair powders? I do. Actually, what is my current armor durability? Eh, it's fine. I've hardly been hit. Really, it's the longsword I've been using so much, because this area really favors longsword. Large titanite shard. An area I'm suspecting will come with... Nope. Okay, never mind. I was thinking maybe something would try to drop on me and grab me and hurt me. I would survive it, but I wouldn't want to have to deal with that. But nope, apparently just... Oh, I totally missed that ladder. All right. Well. Nah, whatever. Cool. So, at this point, I think I've managed to get through all of Irithyll. I am going to have to bonfire, because I am going to have to bonfire. I mean, what other choice do I have? I've got two Estus Flasks. Going to a boss fight where it's going to be fast. I'm going to take a fair amount of damage because I'm going to get hit a lot by fast attacks. The boss of this area takes after a lot of the enemies. The enemies are really training you to fight the boss in this area. And, yeah, the boss is very much like that. Quick, jumping around. Tends to stand around a little bit, so I do have chances to hit, but it's few and far between. So I need to get my Estus. I'm going to get hit. Going to get hurt. Going to have to deal with that. But I also know that the path to it has... Just a couple of Pontiff Knights, which I can actually just bypass. Also going to level up. So I will be back after using all these souls I've got, as well as some of the solid souls, because I have 20,000 souls worth of Weary Warrior, and I think another 6,000 of large, of large Nameless. And how many do I need to level up? It's something like... 35,000? 36,000. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, I'll be back after that, so I'll just cut. Because I always do. I mean, for you it's instantaneous. Leveling Ho! Okay, hey, welcome back, and I just wanted to test something. So I got an extra point of attunement, so I finally have three attunement slots. Granted, I didn't need this for this test, but I figured it would work. I bought another copy of Heal, so you can see number held is two, but I cannot attune it. So apparently you can only attune one copy of any given spell. Although now I'm kind of curious, because, I mean, I have... Huh. Might as well use this, too. Because, why not? I also have a bit more FP, obviously, because, you know, attunement does that. Oh, wow. Not exactly Sunbro material, but... I'll try it out. I'll run with that for a little while. I'm curious how that'll work. I mean, I don't know if the boss will let me actually have a chance to use that. But I'm not going to be able to heal, so... Might as well. Probably better than Lightning Spear. And now we finally have the shortcut open. Hooray! Oh, right, I want to actually use this. It's Flask. Ow. I don't think the... I don't think this miracle actually gives me any... Well, okay. Ah, I'm not going to be able to test this here. That was a bad choice. Okay, never mind. I'm wasting my time. Let's just heal up. I might be able to try it against the boss, but the cast time is so long that I kind of doubt it. it. Doesn't cost much, but the cast time is very long. So for the first time, for the third time, I meet Pontus Sullivan. Ah, nope. Not even gonna bother. Okay, Dory's gnawing is 
useless in this area. If it's useful, it's not here. <sighs> oh well. Really what I care about is Wrath of the Gods. I don't really care about most of the other miracles. I'm curious about some of them, but actually... Eh. Put back heal. Ember up. I feel like I'm gonna need an ember right now. Not for assisting, but just for the extra health. And yeah, that's that. So I'm probably gonna do the normal death montage because that's what I do.
thought I had that time. Ah, uh, I should have listened to my own man. I was like, that Estes, that's gonna be suicide if I Estes right now. I was wrong, but... I mean, I was sorta of right. Damn. Oh, I forgot the ember up. Oops. That's a mistake. Wow. Last targeting. Wait, no, I put the last targeting now. Ah. Okay, this is death. Hey, I survived. Go down, Pope Sully! Go down! Kill the Pope! Hey. You know what the most embarrassing thing about the death montage you guys just saw? All but the last four of those fights were in one sitting because I was being a bullheaded fool and forgetting that, no, I don't have completely crap editing software. I could just do it in multiple sessions, go to bed or even take a half hour break, come back, win in like three or four tries. So you guess, guess what? I go to bed, come back here, win in three or four tries. Bed rest is awesome. Get good sleep. Everyone's watching. It's good for you. Makes your life easier. Anyhow. So we have murdered Pope Sully. Or, if you prefer the old etym etymology, Bridge Builder Sully. And now... Is this a meaningful door? No, it's not. Alright, so now we have cleared Urithil, as far as I know. I mean, there's that one section that's near the Church of Yorshka that I don't really know what's going on there, the octagonal tower thing. No idea how to get in that. No big deal. We'll probably find that sometime around here somewhere. But anyway, yeah, so got rid of Pope's Pontus Sullivan, and... Pain in the butt, although admittedly, I really respect the boss. Like, especially after having a bit of rest and that whole thing where you sleep and you subconsciously learn stuff. Like, fighting it this time was a lot more enjoyable than last time where I was getting frustrated because, of course, I was tired and needed to sleep and I hadn't had a chance to really get those patterns down subconsciously. And now, that was kind of cool. I mean, you can think about my... My style, my play style, it's not quite the dual wielding setup, but it's still the fairly aggressive no defense style, or at least defense is dodging. So I totally respect Bond of Sullivan. That was actually pretty neat. I I gotta say, if I'm gonna do a new game plus, I'm gonna be looking far more forward to Pond of Sullivan again than I am at the Abyss Watchers. Although admittedly the Abyss Watchers are also probably a bit easier now. Anyhow, no big deal. So, I don't have enough souls here to level up. You'll notice I leveled up a bit. I actually did just 
do a bit more exploring and a bit of helping other people out. So, got a few levels, but... Yeah, I feel like that boss fight was just me learning how to dodge the thing. Because I even forgot to ember up in that last fight. I actually meant to ember up, and I totally forgot to. And I still made it, so that was cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna look at the boss soul. That's the first thing, order of business. When we beat a boss, we look at the boss soul. What are its transfusions? I'm guessing those blades? Although, of course, that means that I might have to start really thinking about my Titanite skills. And yeah, profane great sword. Oh, it's an ultra great sword. Never mind. What's this, though? Great sword of judgment. Oh, this might actually be useful. Okay, let's read through them. A ceremonial sword held in Pontus Sullivan's left hand, representing the judgment of the moon, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Its dark blue hues, deeper than the darkest moon, reflect Sorcerer Sullivan's true nature. Oh, I guess I was supposed to read that second. A ceremonial sword, or for profane great sword, a ceremonial sword held in Pontus Sullivan's right hand, representing the profane flame. Long ago, when Sullivan was yet a young sorcerer, he discovered the profane capital, an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Irithyll, and a burning ambition took root within him. So, profane great sword's ability summons the profane flame, which I guess is part of his second stage, and similarly, it looks like the great sword of judgment unleashed dark magic, and you can shoot it out from the looks of it. But this requires loads of intelligence, and this does not require intelligence at all, but honestly, if I don't need it for the boss weapon, I will just save the Titanite scales for something else. So, yeah. Yeah, side sweep you didn't actually see the side sweeping wave in the last one. I might end up showing it in one of the death montages. I think one of the deaths involved a side sweeping wave, where he shoots it out, it's big purple energy. And everything the profane great sword did, you saw in the boss fight. But yeah, that was a neat, bo neat boss fight when I don't feel a huge amount of pressure to keep doing it all in one sitting. Alright, so what is the... I mean, I guess I could just use it. I'm guessing 20,000? 20, 20,000 souls, that's what I get for it? If I were to sell the thing? 12,000, really? What happens if I Actually, use it? Maybe it's just the... Maybe it's just her. Maybe it's like in Dark Souls 1 where certain souls, like say the soul of Smo, were worth hardly anything. Let's use it. Use the soul of Ponta Sullivan. Because... Nope, 12,000. 12k. 12 hmm, okay. Well, you might have Sully's armor. I mean, that might be interesting. Well, if you're gonna... You're, you don't have it yet. Alright. Well, at any rate, that's... Ashen one. So I wonder if Irithyll's safer for Grey right now. I don't know. What are you... Oh, 20,000? I think... What does this give me? Hey, there we go! Well, very well that hate. So I want faith up because I want that 30 faith. Farewell, Ashley. And let's go back because what is over there? So I don't think we really have missed anything. I mean, I got the boss soul, I used the boss soul because the weapons weren't anything I really wanted. Or, well, items, rather. The transpositions, to be more broad. And then after that, yeah, level up. All works out. Cool. I mean, it required two solid souls, but eh, it's worth it. Get me closer to that 30 faith. That magic 30 faith marker. What do you say? You did it! Hell yeah, you did it! We all did it. And now a bunch of people want to do... Oh, yeah! A bunch of people want to do some fighting. Ah. Twinkling. Hey, I can upgrade the Earth straight Sword, I think. Not totally sure. Well, this area is kind of curious. Large Titanite Shard. How many Titanite do I have? Two large Titanite shards, four normal Titanite shards, one Titanite chunk, of which I need two, seven twinkling Titanite. I need one more to upgrade the Irithyll straight sword. What the heck's this? What kind of dark spirit's this? Oh, seriously? 
I want to know what kind of dark spirit this is. So yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of PvP, I guess, because I said at some point I want to do a bit of PvP. I actually have done some off camera. Let's do some on camera. Am I loaded? There we go. Good. So, oh wait, no, I wanted to... What do I want to do? Where's the Lloyd's Talisman? There we go. Undead Hunter Charm, as it's called. Dark Spirit Carter Summon, wherever they are. Let me get out of the low ground. I think that's probably more conventional. Oh. I'm excited. I don't know if I'm going to win or not. Eight, heaven or hell, duel one. Let's rock. Nice roll. Ah! Close match. Well done, sir. I want to summon him again. Let's get duel two. Let's do two on this one. And then we'll, well, then we'll move on. But I want to get a first to two on this guy. It's a good fight. I mean, granted, I was shooting at him, but yeah. Oh, right. I need to ember up. Because I've got 24 embers, so why be stingy? If I need more embers, I'll just assist other players with the boss fights. Where is my new enemy? Oh, right, I should probably kill this thing. I don't know, I got respect for that guy. Twinkling! Okay, I can finally upgrade your little straight sword. Where are you, Carter? I want to fight you again. Ah, uh, seriously? Nope. Come on, Carter. Please. I want to fight you again. That was cool. I liked your little scythe. I haven't seen people with scythe much, so it's a neat experience. Tricky range, though, gotta say. Uh, seriously? I want a dual tube. Perhaps today we'll still not rock. Okay, well it looks like... Carter! Awesome! Right. Duel 2. Let's keep on rocking. Dude, I was still bowing at you! Well, I got the parry timings on point. Alright, so... Probably... In future... Either focus a bit more on jumping attacks if I expect their shielding, or I guess, because I mean, they beat me two to three, so yeah, well done. Well done, Carter. That was, that was very interesting. That was pretty fun. So yeah, it looks like I've really got to be more focused on the fact that I have a ranged weapon. <laughs> it's like, I have a ranged weapon in my offhand. I should use that. Well, that was neat. But I don't want to bog down the Let's Play with a bunch of PvP. I'll probably do more off-camera. Because as much as I said several episodes ago that this game isn't really sort of the PvP action game that a lot of people try to make it into with the competitive element, it's still there. And it's not bad. It's not the absolute prime focus of the game that everything is designed around and balanced around and the best PvP arena action combat game ever. I've already sung my praises for Blade Symphony as far as that goes, and there are probably better games out there as well, though admittedly Blade Symphony is quite good if underrated, but 
the point is, it still is a part of the game, and it's a pretty enjoyable part of the game overall, I think. Like, it's not a bad part of the game. At least, the dual part. The invasion part, that, I find, tends to more serve its purpose of being an obstacle, rather than just being competitive. Like, if you want to be competitive, you go for the red soapstone. Okay, these are not going to... Are going to wake up? Not sure... Not to mention there's that... That enemy of there. Okay, so it looks like there's stuff up top. Mob, enemy ahead, and then treasure. Should be easy enough. Is there any dogs around here? No, there's no dogs around here. Awesome! The dogs are the real problem. These enemies are relatively trivial. As long as you pay attention and see the eyes, you're fine. Hey, ooh, dark stone plate ring. Dark resistance. Anything special written on it? Stone plates are symbols of true knights, and dark stone plates are dark purple stone plates are granted to undead knights. Increases dark damage absorption. Aldrich faithful. Oh, there's an Aldrich worshiping clan, eh? I mean, not clan, covenant. What kind of game am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a first-person shooter or something. Alright, whatever. I'll deal with them when they come to me. Uh, I don't really care. Oh, wow. Okay. Where have I seen these enemies? Oh, Deacons of the Deep! Yeah, these are like super deacons. Hmm. Well, the Aldrich Faithful is probably going to be coming for me. I don't really want to be fighting them alongside the super deacons. Or the Archdeacon. No, not Archdeacons. We already saw Archdeacons. We already know that Lothric is, by and large, Anglican. Whoa, what? Oh, shoot. Like I said, jumping attacks, jumping attacks. Got it. Whoa! That's one hell of a parry. That's fine. I'll go back. I'll ember up again. I don't mind that. Really, I haven't been invaded enough. So, this is an interesting change of pace. I'm cool with it. And I have, what, 22 embers? We're good. It's fine. So yeah, this is the PvP episode I was talking about many episodes ago. This is the one I was talking about. Well, I guess it's the one that I will... At the time, I didn't know which one it would be, but it's this one now. I know now. You're watching it. Alright, so... I feel like I have a couple options. I feel like some of those options are better than others. I don't know if hitting the Deacons is the better option. Hmm... Huh. Ah, so one of those giants was legitimately a giant. Ow. Okay, I need to get rid of the deacons first. Whoops. That was the exact wrong thing to do. Well, lure the one back. Oh, crap. Are, is this an illusion thing? Like, are one of these not real, or clones? No, they're totally different. I guess this is the, if you aren't embered up or playing online, or you're playing this game years in advance after all the online functionality has ceased to exist, these are the Aldrich Faithfuls that you'd have to deal with if there were no others. Although, I don't know. As usual in Dark Souls, we'll find out who these people are once they're dead. Ah! You're annoying, you know that. Ow! Take that! 
Ow! I'd poise through that. Or be faster. Ah, that was a jumping attack. Nope, wasn't running. But that's fine, I still managed to stab them. Ha! Got you both. Drang Twin Spears. Alright, let's read about who these people were. Parrot Spears of the Drang Knights proclaimed descendants from the land known for the legend of the linking of the fire. When the Drang Knights disbanded, they scattered across the lands as sellswords. They quickly became known for shieldless, aggressive tactics that struck fear in the hearts of men. Well, if by Drang you mean Drang Lake, then... No, but okay. That's an acceptable mistake. Because Drang Lake... Well, I guess Drang Lake was one of the linkings of fire. I mean, it was a linking of fire, but it wasn't really the linking of fire. So, ow! Oh yeah, it's probably Estes up. Oh. Not again that has in Oh, right! Now I see why he's familiar, because they were part of the Deacons of the Deep boss fight. The blue enemies were later on in the... Ow. They were later on in the fight when the Archdeacon showed up. But they were part of the fight. Man, that guy's annoying. This is a jumping attack! Eat jumping attack- Ow. Eat my lack of stamina. Eat crossbow bolt! Eat healthy! Wait, no. I don't want you to eat healthy. That makes it harder for me to kill you. Eat junk food! This is a shortcut. So, I'm guessing Aldrich is after this? Like, you fight through all this, and then you fight Aldrich? And in case you forgot, Aldrich was one of the Lords of Cinder, the goo one. I don't know... If, I don't know if that's related to all the goo monsters we've fought so far. But... That is their thing. They were in the intro. They were the big pile of goo. Right, let's take cover. And kill. There we go. Got the approach. I guess that's the thing, when I'm doing PvP, at least when I'm doing honorable duels, as it were, rather than being invaded and fighting for my life, and at that point, I really don't care. Well, I kind of care. The thing is, when it comes to that, I think I tend to approach it a bit more like it should be melee, I, which is weird because I'm clearly playing a melee range mix, but it's hard for me to get my head around the idea that maybe I should really take advantage of the range part despite the fact that it's annoying. I mean, if it's too annoying that I'm kind of zoning them out, well, then rush me down because I don't have great options for dealing with being rushed down. I have okay options at best. Okay. Much easier to fight in the open. Oh, yeah! Stabity! Turns out you can actually kill the Gorman that way. Or damage Gorman that way. Whenever If you hit them in the head with the Storm Ruler Blast, sometimes he'll drop down on, on his knees and then you can just stab his head. You can do a critical attack on his head. And, oh, I'm not wearing Aldrich Sapphire. I've got to change my rings up. I don't need the life ring as much as I need Aldrich's Sapphire. Although I could argue that I don't need the armor as much and could... Nah, I'll stick with this. How much is my life so far? 885. Okay. That's all right when embered up. Not great. I'm going to need to boost Vigor at some point. I already did by one level, but I'm super reluctant to boost it because I just want damage and endurance and all this other good stuff that's not, you know, not dying. I don't value not dying highly enough, I don't think. Granted, I... Ooh. Granted, the name of the series does kind of give that away, to an extent. Joke though it may be, it's not entirely inaccurate. How many souls do I have? 18k. There's two of them. Oh! These things! Where did I fight these weird gaping dragon bastard children before? 
Oh, well, whatever. Oh, wait, shoot. Now I remember where I fought them. These are the Pontiff Beasts. Okay. Ow. Nope. Ah, I thought I killed him. Man, my sound... Okay, hang on. I don't know what's going on. It feels like there's sound channel problems with the game. It's really weird. Alright, well, on the bright side, I don't need to fight all the Deacons of the Deep to get there. Is there a bug with audio? Well, there's no sound channel option, so... Unless that was... HUD uh, auto... Nope, that's nothing to do with that. Seriously, there's no- I, I noticed it in the Yorm boss fight, too, where my footsteps were not enough. Like, I would hear the footsteps, but it wouldn't go on enough. It's weird. It's really bizarre. Alright, so... <laughs> Pontiff Beasts, we've dealt with before. Deal with them again. It's not a big deal. Is that giant still around? Yeah, that giant's still around. In the interest of time, and not fighting a giant without getting rid of those support enemies. I'm just gonna run. Go back to the Pontiff Beast and see what I can do with that. I can probably deal. I, I can't take it on. I'll have it. I nearly had that one. I just, you know, needed to dodge one more time. Would have been good. But it's fine. My souls are right here. That's the important thing. 18k souls are still in my possession. Human dregs. That's a covenant item. Ow. What the heck? I thought I dodged. Oh, wait. I just realized something. This is a much easier... Ow. Wrong weapon. This is a much easier place to fight... fight the Pontiff Beast, then the bridge. Like the bridge, the problem with the bridge was that it was really narrow. Ow. Got hit. I got hit again. I got killed. <sighs> yeah, there'll be a lot of cuts this episode. I mean, the death monster. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I'm gonna end this episode now. Because... Yeah, I forgot that I record some stuff. So this is probably a good time to end the episode. So I'm just going to call it here. I'll deal with the Pontiff Beast and whatever the other stuff was in the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching and have a good night. I think that was overall a relatively productive episode.